Hello friends, I'm Sumit from Even Excel Tip and today in this video I'm going to show you an amazing Excel based template in order to calculate the you know scrum capacity and in order to do an effective and efficient sprint planning. So this is a template first of all let you know I mean this will be helpful because uh, this this is completely automated and this is interlinked so it help you to plan your uh, scrum or capacity and sprint planning in a very efficient and effective manner and that is to in no time let so me let's... take you through this amazing excel template so first of all uh, it has six sheets in it this is the main sheet and the another one is the available capacity planning here you will be given your you know if uh, whatever available capacity you have while considering the employees leave hours, their holidays or their ceremony in the uh, ceremony hours. Uh, the next sheet this will give you the you know an um, idea about how how you can do your sprint planning after getting the you know available capacity of the respective team members in this in, in your you know uh, specific scrum so i will explain you in detail in the other sheet this is employee details this is a sheet where you need to plan your you need to plot your you know scrum team you just need to put their employee names their roles from which scrum team they belong to and the serial number and of course the allocation percentage i have already explained you guys what is the allocation percentage and this is basically for the shared resources for example if any of an, any of your team members in particular scrum team he or she is working as a shared resources then you can change the allocation percentage accordingly and this will be considered while doing the capacity planning for that and the next sheet is the holiday list and this is where you can just plot you need your, your you need to plot your holiday list uh, you need to be considered you want to be considered while doing the uh, you know sprint planning the beauty of the sheet is basically you just need to you know uh, enter uh, respective details in the sheet and just your task is done so all you just need to this make the selections and this sheet will automatically consider the holidays employees leave plan everything and the last sheet is basically employees leave plan and this is basically in calendar format and here you just need to you know um, fill the employees leave plan for you know in an excel format so this is again uh, interlinked so this is the main sheet here first of all you just need to whenever you will get this template all you need to do you just need to, you can simply you know uh, delete all the contents i mean in terms of editable content first of all then enter your employee details here you just need to overwrite them all right their names their roles a scrum team you can define your own scrum teams here select just import which scrum team you need to do the sprint, uh, sprint capacity planning select the sprint number so guys as i as i already told you this is a uh, kind of you know customizable sheet if you need to change any details in it in terms of you know any uh, sprint number or uh, sprint date you can just simply change it from these columns and you can make the sheet you can customize the sheet as per your need all right now on the right side you just need to mention your ceremony time needless to say that you know in agile uh, in agile format we do have different ceremonies the most common ceremonies here is our you know daily scrum call for example let's say if i take 50 minutes for our daily scrum call and uh, let's say we do have a sprint planning meeting as well on the very first day of the sprint so let's put 60 minutes for that particular thing as well if you are considering any you know sprint retro meeting as well let's put so uh, retro meeting generally we do at the end of the sprint let's put 15 minutes here as well so as you can see the numbers are getting changed here and this let me uh, explain you what is this focus factor is all about so guys this is simple like uh, if, if if you know it is name defined so this is simply says that how you know how much your scrum team is focused on this on the sprint related activities right for example if you say that your scrum team is you know uh, is busy in in only in only into the sprint related activities then you can simply uh, you know modify the or simply select the focus factor to 100 percent and if you say you no know, my scrum team is you know uh, the 90 percent task is on the sprint related activities and the 10 percent task is reserved for some different activities it may be some training or it may be some other activities in that case you just need to select the focus factor on the 90 percent so this focus factor will be applied while doing the while you know calculating the available capacity 
for every employee in that particular scrum in that particular sprint number right let's go back to the main sheet first and let's see how employees leave plan is you know being considered while doing the available capacity in this template so here you can see the you know the scrum team members name you will find here right and this is again linked with these employee details and this name and this you know employee list will be shown for the particular scrum team which you have selected from this drop down right for example if you will select scrum num team 3 you will notice that employee's name has been changed here right all right let's go back to and let's make it to scrum 2 only right okay now once you have made the selection for which scrum team you are going to do the capacity planning and for which particular sprint you are going to do that you will notice that you know the time frame is quite same here also in this lead plan right and as you can see it's clearly mentioned that individual leave details and this is linked with employee leave sheet let's take an example of this particular employee nick and for nick we just you know applied a kind of you know uh, a leave for let's say take a two days leave 17 18 and let's make two more leave for nick and this is sprint let's make an half day leave all right so we have taken example that nick is on three days full day leave and two days half day leave in this particular sprint now let's see this while this particular thing is automatically being calculated in the main sheet or uh, yes or no yeah to the second sheet that is available capacity so this sheet will show you again at the top of the sheet you will see the scrum team and the spin number for which you know this is showing the available capacity here so here you can see the team name members are same which you have selected from first sheet and here you can see they are available you know available hours available hours for this particular sprint so as you will notice that since nick is on leave on full day leave on these three days that's why uh, there is no you know available capacity showing for him for those particular days and since he is on half day leave on these two days so that's why his half capacity is being showing on these particular two dates right at the end of there are three more columns the first column is basically the you know total available hours so here we have we haven't considered we have just have considered only total hours basically after you know excluding their leave hours and the next column is showing effective capacity after ceremony time so remember guys we have mentioned some few ceremonies here and we uh, we have calculated the, the you know total hours as well so here in this this column column q this will show you the available capacity after excluding your seven seven years right and at the end of the this sheet there is a column called final capacity after ceremony time and focus vector remember guys i just mentioned you on the last sheet about this focus vector so since i have selected 90 percent focus vector this this is basically showing you after applying the uh, focus uh, focus factor of 90 percent so the available capacity is 76 if you will capture 90 percent of this particular thing you will find the uh, you know the 68 is the after 90 percent so let's see if i just select the focus factor to 100 percent yes so you will see there is no change now in this you know these two columns because i now i am considering focus factor is 100 percent right as you can see at the bottom you can see the total number of the total available capacity for that particular scrum team now once now we are aware you know what is the available capacity after considering employees leave hours ceremony hours and the focus factor okay now those now next part next step is basically to do the sprint planning or to map their task right so this sheet will help you to plan your sprint also so let me explain you so at the top first of all you know this will show you before which scrum team you are doing the sprint planning or which sprint you are doing this so this is again linked with the main sheet whatever selection you will do from here this will reflect on the sheet as well on the second row you will find the scrum team members name and beneath it you will find their final available you know capacity after and this is showing this is linked with this available capacity capacity sheet so whatever uh, available capacity final capacity for these employees this will be reflect here right and this is the committed capacity so committed capacity is nothing but what is the you know uh, the, the capacity or what is the uh, task hours you have defined for that particular sprint for these employees 
this is showing the sum of these numbers let's say if we make it if we delete it so you will find that you know the sheet is showing nothing so this is the blank sheet now for example uh, if you do let's start plotting their you know spin planning for example particular employee let's say I make it 8 8 and you will see that number is getting changed here right now here you will find this uh, you know uh, the color change here in red and why because we have overutilized this particular employee why because the available capacity for Nick was 44 hours while we have you know given a task of him cast us to 48 hours and that's why you know it's showing in red let's do it another okay okay so as you can see the sheet is working here and working fine calculating so in this manner you just need to do the sprint planning for all these employees respective employees okay now at the end of this dish this is showing you the total of all these numbers now in the top right corner this graph will show you a kind of you know comparison whatever available capacity we have and what is the ca committed capacity so guys remember available capacity whatever we are getting from here after considering their leave hours, their holidays their ceremony hours and the committed capacity whatever you know uh, sprint hours or sprint task hours you will plot here this will show you the sum of these number here if you click it you will find this, this is showing the sum of these numbers right available capacity is what available capacity is simply uh, the final capacity minus committed capacity for example let's say for, uh, for this employee Nora the available capacity for Nora is close to 77 hours and we have already you know uh, plotted a uh, number of you know we have already given her a task of 29 hours so the difference is 48 hours so you can see still she has a kind of you know capacity to uh, we can add you know uh, more hours or tasks close to 48 hours now at the bottom in this table this table will show you uh, both the things available capacity utilization or is there any over utilization for that particular employee you will see here in the table format <music>